Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel again. As you know, my name is Michelle, and it's been one of those days where I can't seem to get out of my own head. So I don't know if you've ever had that feeling, but it's not a fun one. And I do want to thank you for watching this video because honestly, it's probably helping me <laughs> more than it is helping you right now. So I apologize about that, but I do want to thank you oh, for continuing to, um, to watch my channel. So I don't know how many of you have dealt with infertility issues. I'm not going to get into it right now, but uh, if you have, you probably know that they are absolutely exhausting. From the moment you wake up, to the moment you sleep, to the moment you get a test result, to the moment you go to get a, a test, to the five million doctors you have, to the different appointments, to all the stupid comments people have to say about miscarrying, infertility, da 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 da. It literally is enough to drive you batshit. So, sorry about the language, but that's that's just kind of how it had to come out at this point. So, if you do know anybody that's suffering from infertility issues, whether they are a couple, whether it's male infertility, whether it's female infertility, guess what? It's all fertility and it all sucks. So, please just, uh, you know, I'm going to step off my soapbox for today, but just have some compassion because it's... it's it's a tough situation to be in. On a brighter note, uh, I did want to show you, my hands are totally filthy right now because I've been playing with makeup all day. Not all day, tonight after work. But um, I wanted to show you, this is shade number 302. I know I spoke with you about the Infallible palette last time um, and the different shade and the, and the neutrals and browns. So what I've got on right now is actually uh, number 302. This is the Infallible Paint Eyeshadow. Uh, in shady violet. So I'm throwing some shade today, ladies, and I've got this color going on. And yes, like my mood, I've got on a dark lip. So um, for those of you who have s a smaller mouth like me and who are not big into lipstick like I tend to be, screw it. You can wear whatever color you want. Uh, I happen to like the idea when you have a smaller mouth to really play on your angles. I have a very pointy uh, top to my lip area, the cupid's bow, or whatever it's called. So I try to really make that define to give it some edge just because I don't have much to work with. So that's just how I chose to do it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going for a really dark lip. It's a dark, dark purple. And I'm wearing only two colors on my eyes. So I can get a little bit closer here. You'll see it more in a few minutes, but um, or in a minute or so. I just basically put this bottom color on here barely blended ab above the crease. So just think, you're not going so much from here to here, you're going from here to here, if that makes sense. So that's what I did. I decided to put this light color all the way around, all the way back around, and that's how I came up with this. Just a simple wing liner, some mascara. Didn't do too much with the face, just um, a little bit of blush. Nothing fancy. So if you're looking for something more neutral, I'd suggest sticking with the previous look that I did. But hey, if you're willing to take a step outside of your comfort zone, this is really easy to do. Two colors, one brush, done. So thanks again for watching and uh, enjoy the brief tutorial. Bye.